Welcome to National Focus. I'm Jana Hector. Coming up, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt confirms major losses in the agriculture sector post Tropical Storm Erica, two new ambulances for the Dominica Fire and Ambulance Service, and we remember former Prime Minister Roosevelt Douglas 15 years later. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. Thanks for staying with us. The agriculture sector suffered significant losses during the passage of Tropical Storm Erica. This was confirmed by Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt on Tuesday as he addressed the nation one month after the August 27 storm. Farmlands were also subject to high levels of leaching and soil erosion and the consequent reduction in soil fertility. Farm access roads, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to the challenge posed by the damage to primary roads, estimated at $624.7 million, farmers also have to contend with the damage and destruction of feeder roads and farm access roads, some of which have been rendered impossible by fallen trees, landslides, and erosion. This has major implications for the movement of fresh produce from farm to markets and the movement of inputs to the farms. The impact of Erica destruction of tree crops, banana planting, root crop and vegetable cultivations, principally as a result of flooding and landslide, was severe. Losses to the crop sector are estimated at over $10 million. The destruction of livestock and associated housing was a prominent feature of this disaster. Deaths in cattle, sheep, goats, rabbits, poultry, and pigs have been reported and places preliminary estimates of livestock losses at over EC $600,000. Athelene Douglas Murdoch wants Dominicans to remember deceased former Prime Minister Roosevelt Douglas not just in words but in actions. Dominicans will remember this day, October 1st, 2000, as the day we lost a great man, a great leader, and for Athelene Douglas Murdoch, a great brother. It has been 15 years since his passing, and GIS News sought to share memories with Douglas Murdoch, who says she is still saddened by his passing. Yeah, I feel sad because I think Rose's death was a premature one. I, he, most of his life, or a lot of his life, he struggled to, to actually be able to do something positive. Well, he actually did a lot of work internationally, and he would have liked to do, to, to he, he even sort of liked to see government, um, certain things in government policy change, and he... As, as um, Sir Clarence, Pastor Clarence Sillionet said, he initiated change in the usual democracy, or not a democracy, bureaucracy of government, and it would have been good for him to see how that evolved. He also wanted to, to see us forge better links with Martinique and Guadeloupe, and we have actually come to that. Outside of his political life, she remembers him fondly as a brother. He was funny. He was uh, very um, easy to get along with. He didn't get vexed. He was um, very charitable, uh, very kind. And, you know, my father used to get very angry that, you know, he wanted him to be, in those days, have a sort of a more driven ambition, meaning make a lot of money. And, you know, you know like a typical maybe person, you want your child to go on, get a job and do well and get a big house, you know, that kind of thing. Not that my father was much into himself because he was also a... Uh, uh, politician and looked a lot about thought a lot about poor people too but he just thought you have to start looking about yourself and you know and getting involved in 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 um getting something that you can look at and say well i i did that and i have that up to when he died he owned nothing he just owned what maybe my father left him he he lived in my father's house the house he lived in wasn't even his and he wasn't i don't maybe he would have spent five years and not owned anything either that was the kind of person he was Douglas Murdoch is satisfied that throughout the past 15 years, she has been able to see his hopes and plans for Dominica come to fruition. She listed the establishment of diplomatic relationships with socialist countries and the elevation of the Kalinago people.
Asked what she would like for Dominica to remember most about her brother, the former prime minister, she described a transformed society. I think it would be good if Dominicans remembered him as someone who was extremely patriotic. He loved, he loved to, to patriotic, a, a lover of the poor, a lover of the downtrodden, and somebody who wouldn't just only talk about it, but you know, do something about it. I mean, there are a lot of money that rolled through Rosie's hands, and he kept nothing for himself. So, the, the, if we all lived like that, you know, selfless, generous, patriotic, and when he was younger, he was in one of the national choral groups. He, he was, he, but we touched on everything, you know. If we lived like that, and if we fought and gave ourselves. Much of what Dominica's Rosie Douglas bravely fought for throughout his life, and even gave his life for, is fast becoming embraced as the better way. He was right in fighting what needed to be fought at the time, and not many people had the courage to do it. So he was courageous, seemingly simple, but deep. I would like Dominican to remember him like that. Dominica was in his heart, and I would like hope they could keep him in their heart and be that kind of person. We are together and united and generous and um, sensitive to each other. In other news, the Fire and Ambulance Department is strengthening its capacity to save lives and property. On Wednesday, the Honorable Minister for Justice, Immigration and National Security, Raven Blackmore, handed over two new ambulances to serve the La Plaine and Roseau Health Districts. The ambulances cost government $337,000. Upon becoming a minister with responsibility for national security, I was surprised by the fire chief as to some of the requirements insofar as the tools of trade that you require to make you better equipped to provide services that you are mandated to deliver by law. Among them being ambulances. At the time, we were shot two ambulances one, according to my recollection, in the St. Joseph's district, and the other, in the La Plaine district. With time, circumstances have changed, and the ambulance that, that was assigned to the Rosal district was involved in a vehicular traffic accident. As a consequence, we were down three ambulances. The availability of ambulances also plays a critical role in the ability of first responders to react quickly when emergency calls. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Health and the Environment, Honorable Ivor Stevenson, says the fire and ambulance services plays a pivotal role in the delivery of health services. The Ministry of Health continues to welcome these initiatives because we feel that it is something that continues to provide all the necessary support for the Ministry of Health. The, the Fire and Ambulance Services has over the years been partnering with the Ministry of Health in the delivery of its services. And we are aware that, especially at the district levels, the levels of teamwork that continues to take place at both the Ministry of Health and the Fire and Ambulance Services. We, in the Ministry of Health, we welcome the fact that over the years, the Fire and Ambulance Services have really given much support towards the delivery or helping in the delivery of health care, especially at the district levels where we have seen the, the fire officers and the ambulance services responding to emergencies and also helping in the delivery of, of care at this level. Chief Fire Officer Josiah Dupi says these ambulances represent the 60th and 61st to be assigned to the department for the last 37 years. I must say that the receipt of ambulance for any emergency organization is very important. And in our case, like any other, it really cuts to the core of what our core functions are. And one of the most critical of our function is that of saving lives. And I'm sure you, can certainly, uh, you will certainly agree with me that the availability of ambulances um, goes a long way 
to us achieving our fundamental mission. A third ambulance is expected to be procured by the end of October 2015. That will mean that each of the seven health districts will be equipped with ambulances. You're watching National Focus. Coming up, government says thanks to the regional security system. Stay with us. Wash your hands. I am Adora Tuse, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water, or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. A message from the health promotion of the Ministry of Health. Welcome back. Minister for National Security, Raven Blackmore, has expressed gratitude to Regional Security System for what he considers to be remarkable assistance to Dominica in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Erica. The Regional Security System is an organization comprised of both military and police personnel, which works to preserve the stability and well-being of member states. On Wednesday, a closing ceremony was held for the team as they prepared to leave the shores of Dominica. Search and rescue and the maintenance of law and order are critical um, because of the challenges that we had at the time with our local law enforcement agency. We felt that we needed additional help. And in quick time, we had 83 members from the respective forces within the RSS arrangement, um, including both police and, and different force members, and came to Dominica. And you may have recalled the exceptional role they played, not only in search and rescue, but in providing security protection to a number of, in, of important national installations. For example, Dr. Charles Airport and some of the areas that were devastated by, by Erica. Honorable Blackmore also recognized the outstanding execution of search and rescue missions, especially in the community of Petit Savan. He says the RSS evacuated hundreds of persons from that community without any incident. Barbados Coast Guard, the Trident, also provided exceptional service to Dominica. The team was also thanked for the exceptional services. They too left the island on Wednesday. The Adventist Development Relief Agency, ADRA, is continuing its campaign to support Dominican students who have been affected by Tropical Storm Erica. Local ADRA co-coordinator, Nurse Priscilla Prevo, says that with a check of $75,000 from the South Leeward Mission of Seventh-day Adventists, ADRA was able to create vouchers to aid these students. So we agreed that we would do vouchers in three categories. For preschoolers, we would do the um, $75 per child. Yeah. Um, for the primary school students, would do 150, value 150, and the secondary schools would get $200 per student. The co-coordinator notes that with the combined efforts of various organizations, a list of persons who needed assistance was established. We got a list from the Pitit Savan community and we also, that list was verified by persons leading in the community like the principal um, of the primary school there and we also got a list from the Kulibistri area and we also have persons from the, the churches who are in areas that have been affected so they got um, the list from those individuals as well. The, those persons whom we have contact numbers for, we inform them, we call them, and they have been coming to my office from Friday last week and uh, receive their vouchers. 
they are very grateful. So far, we have issued over twenty thousand dollars in vouchers. So we still have um, more vouchers, and people are coming. Like all this morning, we had persons, you know, to receive vouchers. Adria is also providing support in other ways. We assisted in the feeding at the grammar school um, shelter. We have been receiving relief supplies from our brethren, brothers and sisters in um, the countries, neighboring countries. We are expecting some more supplies from further field and whenever they come, we will distribute accordingly. Also, there is, as we give out the vouchers, we identify persons who are still in need of counseling. And uh, this is an area that we also operate in and therefore when we do get assistance we will be able to target those individuals because some persons have received counseling at the, at the center, um, however there are some persons who are in other homes who have not really come out for counseling but they need and therefore when once they have identified the need and we know where they are as soon as we have um, resources then we'll be able to deploy them in that area nurse Prevo said that adra will continue to aid dominica in any way possible well we are just happy to be able to serve the community in that way and um, whatever we can do to help to relieve the plight of individuals and to collaborate with the government in the whole rebuilding and recovery efforts, we are prepared to do that. Before we leave, one announcement. All interested individuals of the Salibia constituency are asked to register to participate in a furniture building module to be facilitated by Mr. Alexis Prince. The training module will be launched on Monday, October 5th, 2015 at the Old Salibia School. For more information about the furniture building training module, please contact Cozy Frederick, Development Officer in the Ministry of Kalinago Affairs at 266-3377. 613-5518 or 245-3768. Interested persons can also contact Honorable Cassius Daru, the Parliamentary Representative, at 235-0088. And that's the English News. Macpherson St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ces nouvelles en Creole. Non moins, c'est Macpherson St. Louis. Premièrement, le Premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt a fait parole que le gouvernement a fait information sur le Wasco qui concerne les différentes communautés qui ont fait de l'eau depuis que le temps Eric a bien dommagé le système. Le Premier ministre a dit que les communautés Wesley, Woodford Hill et puis Marigot qui ont reçu le 5 octobre, Guambé le 10 octobre, Pagatel, Fonsejan le 17 octobre. Girodel, Eggleston, Kingsville et puis Rygate le 24 octobre. Colliho, Diblan, Bions et puis Colibichwick qui tapé à ce le 3 octobre. Le Premier ministre a aussi dit que le pays a fait autant bien en EFO, vu que le pays a fait depuis le temps de l'Eureka. Et aussi qu'il a remercié toute agence, l'autre pays et puis le monde dominique, même qui a assisté et puis qui a continué à assister le pays depuis le mauvais le temps de l'Eureka. En la nouvelle, le département pompier Dominique a donné une meilleure position pour faire travail à eux. En effet, le gouvernement fait available des ambulances pour le département. Le ministère de la Sécurité nationale, Honorable Ribbon Blackmore, fait présentation de la clé pour ce voile pour le chef pompier Josiah Dupi pendant une cérémonie à mercredi en département pompier en Ozo. Comme ça, le département a défié. Ils ont fonction, fonction bien important. Il y a des ambulances pour transporter les gens qui sont malades. Il y a des choses Nous avons sept districts de santé en Dominique. Nous avons fait sept. Tous les districts ont fait une ambulance. Aujourd'hui, là, nous avons présenté des ambulances neuf. Nous Gagner ça, avoir l'argent nous-mêmes. Le Premier ministre, là, 
qui est aussi ministre de Finance, euh, euh, il a l'argent comme ça. Euh, nous faisons une request euh, avec il fait 7 ans. Il va nous l'argent ça pour, pour gagner ce voie de ça pour le um, département de Donc, so, en prison, nous n'avons pas de district sans une ambulance. Ça, c'est le district Sanjo. Et bien, en un mois encore, nous avons fait 7 ans. Le district Sanjo, nous avons une ambulance. Uh, so, so, ça, qui fait 7 ans, tout le district de Dominique, comment dire, 7 districts de Dominique, 7 ans, qui n'ont pas ambulance. Tout ça, c'est bien important pour nous, Dominique. Puis tout ça, le monde tombe malade, à Kaili, c'est mon ami accident. L'ambulance est bien important pour, pour mener ce monde à l'hôpital, pour faire cette, um, nous sauver la vie. So, so, ça, pour nous, convoyement, ça va être bien important pour nous. La nouvelle, je dis, le 1er octobre, qui a été en train de se faire ministre Rosie Douglas passé. Douglas, qui était premier ministre en février 2000, pour octobre, même dans le moi, même l'année, il s'est maintenu comme premier ministre. Madame Aflin Douglas, Murdoch, CC à Douglas, qui a bien changé le premier ministre Douglas. Quand CC, moi, je suis changé, Rosie, c'est un homme qui a un gros coup de Il aime les gens, il était très euh, euh, bon pour l'autre monde. Si il y a un il, il passe à manger au point pour quoi il n'y a pas fait d'autres points d'appel en aille aussi il partait pour voir ce qui se passe il était qui mettait quoi derrière pour faire autre um, l'autre monde qui spécialement monde qui puis pauvre passer tapé en uh, bitain il était autant comme ça il était uh, lié autant comme ça il était qu'à voir plus uh, loin passer uh, d'autres mondes. C'est qui qui a parlé contre Libye et vers Cuba. C'est le premier même monde qui a tapé scholarship pour aller Cuba. C'est aussi tel qu'à faire aller et vers tout le monde qui a critiqué ça. Il parle mais les vers ça. Puis il il était qu'à voir comment il s'est tapé autant de monde éducation comme ça. Et bien, even pour Libya, you know, mon teka criticize li autant, il pas mis les pis ça, il teka n'importe quoi, il teka um, tapé en, en chance pour faire mon tapé en chance pour plus éducation, il teka il teka um, point chance ça là. Donc là, c'était bien travail pour policier étranger à Dominique. Depuis que tu es un garçon, il était comme ça. Si je ne pouvais pas l'argent pour aller au zoo, il était comme ça. Rester au zoo, mais nous, tout le temps, c'est un week-end qui est vu. Il était comme ça. Tout le monde s'est levé par d'autres gens. Il m'a mis quoi derrière. Il s'est levé comme ça. Et il était un de ces premiers gens qui voyaient nous nous supposer pour un pli anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-anti-an
comme ça, avec spécialement un cas tout le retrait les monde fini travail après le travail comme une année ou pas ça discuter ou pas ça considérer retrait monde qui a laissé retrait sans considérer pas sur charge qui aurait été joué en la vie monde qui a si retrait parce que parmi ces bénéfices la sur charge qui aurait été pour tuer monde c'est on on bénéficie au cas en peine chaque jour qu'à payer monde là yo oui fait l'âge le retrait là yo fini travail après le travail comme une année yo payer contribution à la sur charge sécurité vous pouvez recevoir une pension de la Social Security. Et pour un autre monde, Dominique, la pension de la Social Security, vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent que vous avez gardé pour la Social Security. Vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent que vous avez gardé pour la Social Security. Vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent que vous avez gardé pour la Social Security. Vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent que vous avez gardé pour la Social Security. Vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent que vous avez gardé pour la Social Security. Vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent que vous avez gardé pour la Social Security. Vous pouvez vous présenter celle sous l'argent pour les lèvres qui arrivent là, ok, tout vie pour yo continuer de travailler, pour yo ça continue de vivre la vie yo en confort et en la paix. Mais c'est madame, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un coup pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Mac Fossa Saint Louis. Au revoir. Coming up next, a tip to make your next cleaning day shorter and easier. Instead of spending all day cleaning on your next house cleaning day, shorten that time by doing a 10-minute pickup every evening. Set a rule for everyone in the house. At some point in the evening, everyone has to pitch in and do a quick 10-minute pickup. During this time, put things away and in their places. It won't take long and you will have less to do on your big cleaning day. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and your comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow our Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Jana Hector. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.